all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess this is where Stanley felt he needed to be right now, in this little hallway, here, with no distractions, to study room 417. Not to actually enter it, no, 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 that would be far too forward. Stanley wanted to know it from the outside, to see it not just with his eyes, but with his heart. He would know room 417 as no man or woman had ever known an office before. That ladder over there, oh, and that little picture of a horizon or something. It's all just a never-ending parade of joy for Stan. Ah, no, apparently not. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform 